last time on Chasing Dallas. Hey, where you at? We here. I have finally arrived to the house. First off, this house looks like a motherfucking haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> I finally pulled up. I get to show everyone around and just get this trip started with positivity. Well, I thought it's not, he already comfortable. You thought wrong. Chasing my room. I don't have to stay here. Um, I, don't, I don't stay. I'm not trying to be a party pooper. Okay, at this point, Trey's being a little bit dramatic. Oh, you and Jen a couple now. Jen, I'm telling Jen, I'm telling Jen. They was running you down saying that you talked to the lobby. Yeah, these are Astro and Kiki. That's what they know. Trey, if you don't shut your big mouth up, why are you not here? Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, I got a message from Londy. Yeah, he said he wasn't coming because he thought the couple's sister. Oh, yeah. Me and Londy just had this conversation not once, but twice. I'm trying to still come here with that same ass bullshit. We're not gonna let nobody interrupt what's going on. Me and you know what's going on between me and you. Now, look, I'm late to Houston, and I pull up to the house, and I'm like, what in the Jeep of Creeper is this? So, we get a text message from DeAndre. Um, I guess he's in town. Didn't invite him. Him, but he's in town. The manager's supposed to be here, but the manager's not here. That means we have to pay for the Jibato. Why invite us to the club if you ain't gonna drink? That's sad. Yeah, this pay for already. Oh, baby, one thing about you, this is true. I'll pay for this whole bitch and you. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like y'all two are the first two people to pop up. You was worried about sending that kiss and not working his legs, baby. Bitch, I'll throw the money on you right now in this little ass section. When you go low, bitch, I'll slap you and your grandma hoes. I go low way. Bitch ass bombs. Bitch ass bombs. Stop playing with me. In this little ass section. Baddie. Bitch a little 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 baddie. Walk in the room and they watching the baddies. Beat on three neighbors. They step to the family. Chasing no bitch, but we chasing reality. Me and my bitches, we killing them. From Dallas to Georgia, we eating them. One thing was forgotten, this bitch is a baddie. Y'all crush anything that I'm on. Bitch a little baddie, 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 bitch a little baddie. You can't let people get you upset like that. Okay. You can't let people do that. Get you like that. You can't let that happen. Now, it's so about when I get a drink in my system, y'all. It's no reconciliation with the height of what he was saying to me and the spitting and all of these things. I just didn't know how to react to it. So, it was just another person. People gonna talk shit. People gonna do whatever they do. Trust me. But you see me just you know, he just said white girl saying you got no way. That's why. That's why. You got to calm down. We have to. You got to bring it down. Bring it down. Both of y'all gotta calm down. Please. That's a lie. So, so you can do it. We can do this one or two ways. You can either leave on your own or I can have that big ass security guard pull you out. So what you wanna do? What? I'm gonna buy a bottle. You know, what you wanna do? I'm gonna buy a bottle. What you wanna do? I'm gonna show you how big my bank is. Say less. Let's do that. I have been escorted out of bigger sections, bigger clubs, better opportunities, more networking places. This is really beneath me. I didn't want to be here anyway. I would rather leave, but I'm not. First off, this place is so damn small. I didn't know they had security. Please, 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 please. No, -uh. come back. Can you can't. Yeah. come here? Come here. Let me talk, I gotta tell you something real quick. I'm not joking. You, you can go. I have been kicked out of better places. I'm glad. Better looking people. I'm glad. You're a water bar just bigger good, than me. Good, 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 but you're a water bar. Really you're a water bar. And what are you, bitch? You know what, your friends? I can fucking tell these men. Did you know that? I ain't got no man. I, I ain't got no man. But you're okay with that. That's your friend. I ain't got no man. I ain't got no man. Nobody fucking your man. I ain't got no man. Say less. Look. At this point, it's a lot of he say, she say shit. Keyshawn said what he said. We've talked off camera about what has been going on. So DeAndre's input on that is so irrelevant at this point. He's just looking for a moment as usual. It's before me. It's before me. But this hoe was bragging to everybody that her friend was fucking your man. Sean said that? Sean said that. Keyshawn from Atlanta. The rich bitch that's paid. Keyshawn is my ride, so I'm fine. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be foul. You just came in here on bullshit, trying to ask. We all always try to make it seem like y'all doing rich shit, y'all brand, y'all doing things. You don't know what, what I have, and that's not business that people talk. Stop acting like y'all know somebody else's bank account status. He don't. I don't talk about your money or you. You do, though. Every time you with Keyshawn, y'all do this label shit. Like, y'all, it's really those guys and y'all are not. Let's be so, y'all do label shit all the time. Like, bro, this is Gucci that I got from the flea market. I never said that. Y'all always do that shit. Gucci from the flea market? Oh, my God. You know, at the end of the day, I truly feel like there is something deep down inside of DeAndre that he's fighting and he is misunderstood and you know what if you need a little prayer and worship we can go to church together i'll pray for you i've never done nothing nobody besides that man right there so for me to not have done nothing to none of y'all and every time i come into a situation it's like you have a problem with me you have an issue with me for what for you i supported your music with you me and you sex a lot and i told you i got your back i don't never want to put you in no uncomfortable positions with your real estate business and i say hey can we look for properties can we do anything but every time i see you you always have something to say that shit is draining. So don't act like I'm not a real friend to all of y'all. And y'all, none of y'all ever, nobody like, but none of y'all ever have my back when it comes to group setting. And that's why, that's my thing. That, your energy right now. My energy is off because y'all can't be on bullshit. Um, maybe it's just a little bit of insecurity on Dre's side because we don't do that here. Looking to the left and looking to the right, all I see is grown men fighting again about who money is bigger than who else of money. Who gives a fuck at this point? This is too much. I am leaving and I don't have time. I'm too cute for this. Sorry. So I was going to leave, but I forgot that I left my keys with Dior. So I went to grab a drink because I needed something else just to get me over the edge. So I'm here. Picked up some bands, come and come again, come again. They do what I do, I'm like Simon says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber bands. So guys, my surprise is here. My brother is here. Here go, pass the green leaf. Why are you here? Why? I'm doing too much. Fuck that. Hey, I'm Jack. Jack. Drive the boat. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I just landed in Houston. My sister picked me up. Listen, immediately when I walked in, but these girls are showing out up in this club, okay? I knew Telly was going to be there, and my biggest thing is I'm matching energy. If you on what we were on the last time we saw each other. Go work on your work energy, up. work on work that makeup, up. work on that eyebrow. Bitch, okay. you done posted five niggas since show Why ex, you since show. Then I don't match that. But you know, again, we in here with all these straight folks. So I just came to have a good time. So I didn't see him, and he did not see me. George, you know what's happening, right? Huh? You know what's happening? Andy, you know what's happening? I know, I'm here. What happened? Let's, let's drop the boat again. We do. So, Pastor Greenleaf is speaking to everybody else besides me. I don't owe him my attention or any of my acknowledgement. You're not relevant enough to me to talk to you. Now, I met Tedley through you. We, we, we're, we're cordial. It is what it is. Like, we're grown, we're grown adults. We, we can exist in the same room. Would you like a drink, a shot? No, I thought I knew him, but no. I don't know him. Move right along. So when the waitress comes to the table and saying that, you know, we have to cash out on, you know, um, the bottle and stuff, we was like, okay, that's cool, we are, we ready. We was like, did the other guy pay his, his portion? She was like, yes. And we was like, well, how much did he pay? Because he told us he was paying half. So we want to make sure that everybody had their ducks in a row. They say that he only paid $125 on a $400, $400 bottle. The math ain't math. Uh, he got me good. Oh, he got me good on that one. I got kicked out. I got kicked out. So, he said he was a I got kicked out. He gave back half of the portion of his bottle. He only paid $100. The bottle is dirty. That's a dirty bottle. I got kicked out, bitch. Oh, he a dirty. That's a dirty bottle. I got kicked out. So, look what this silver back gorilla did to us. You kicked me out your section. You called security because you want a moment. And now you want us to flip the bill just as a gorilla would just trifling low down and dirty <laughs> guess he had a flight to catch 
That's why he let me back in this station. Now, how the hell you invite us out to this lounge you supposedly partially own or your co-partner or whatever, and then you didn't even like pay for anything like and then i didn't even get my hot wings i ordered some hot wings that never came out it's giving pp loan the only problem i have with drake is him making me pay for a section that i didn't want to at the end of the day bitch this is your section you 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 bought this like don't make me pay for it the shit that you i don't like that so for you to bring up that i came up with this this thing with this song when you brought it up now trying to make me look like i spread a gossip and then now you're leaving us with a bill i don't know where we stand deandre but I don't think we can move forward on a positive note unless you apologize. Jerry, what the fuck? Like, bro, like, we was kind of making up or whatever, and you go and do some stupid ass shit like that. Like, bro, don't nobody have extra money to be spending on your ass. And the people looking at us like we fucking broke and shit, and your ass is gone. Kiki and Robert gone too. I don't, I don't know what the hell going on. Like, I just felt like with. With DeAndre skipping out on the bill after he, you know, leaned over to tell me, you know, I'll pay half and this, that, and the third, I just feel like, dang, we're supposed to be starting off on a new foot and here you go doing some bullshit like this. It just makes me really know exactly what type of person you are. At this point, I don't have no issue with you and I don't really have anything with you. I see you. Hey, keep it pushing. That's how I am. Never would be a friend of mine, but not even an enemy either because I don't have that much energy. So look, it is early in the morning, everybody is sleeping in the house. I'm hungry per usual, so I feel like I should fix a little breakfast, a little snack to get us through the day. So here I am cooking a little something for everybody. Woo! Okay, I smell the bacon. You know it's time. That means everybody to get the hell up. Okay, well you right on time. Okay, early bird gets the worm Look, at this point. Okay, because I got a little snack for everybody. Got a little oh, bacon. Yes, yes, yes. Got a little cinnamon rolls. But Come on, housewife. Oh, man. You know, I got some Okay, but yeah, before we start, let me give me a little water. Listen, last night. Last night, child. <laughs> I don't know if I even remember all of what happened, but I feel like when I came in, we even got to the house and got everything to where things are already going on before we went to shopping. So what actually happened between Robert and Kiki and you? Like they think like you got some tea or you know something from my I, I don't know nothing about this. I came in the room and they was having a conversation and I was sitting there and at one point I did talk to Londy and I was like, hey, you need to come, come yeah. down, what's going on? And at one point he's like, okay, I'm coming. I'll come tomorrow. And I was like, okay. See, so you got and Kesey all wrapped up, deal all wrapped But my up. main intention was when we were sitting in the living room last night before right. we went to the store, I was just trying to let everybody know that line D was coming. Right, and then it got twisted there about the relationship. And I'm like- That ain't my business, I don't care. Okay, it's never well, my business, it's nobody else's business. Okay. Listen, I honestly don't remember no parts of the conversation and I really don't want no parts of the damn drama, period. But my thing is, the club, I think with the club for me, it's gonna leave us with that bill, bitch. I died. First of all, I just wanted a chicken wing because I was hungry when I got there. <laughs> just one. Just one chicken wing, at least. He said yes, but he's like, I got you. So yeah. Like, okay. So I was like, okay. And I sat my ass down with yeah. two chicken wings. Yeah. That never came out. The hookah didn't drink something. And I asked about, I said, hey, you know, we need to take care of the hookah. And that's when he went off on me saying all this other stuff. He can afford me, he can buy this and that. And I'm like, I didn't ask what you can afford. I don't care about what you can afford. You so know, I don't know. But it's, I feel like it's hard to have his back in a group setting because he comes for everybody. But I understand where he was coming from. Mm -hmm. But the only thing of that is you can't throw a bone and then Hide your hand. Okay. Because I just think that, like, you rub it wrong when you come out raw, raw. Dre showed his ass per usual. He got into it with literally everybody, just about. I mean, at this point, it's like, why are you so mad? Why are you always mad? Oh, that's Kesey. Hey, Kesey. Hey, good morning. My face wet and shit. I was talking about how you was upset about okay. um, the Lion D situation. You got so upset. I was like, I really can't believe you said that. Mm. I feel like it was just. Something to add, a bone to carry. Okay, everybody meet up in the kitchen. Well, good morning. Hey. Okay, can we get these mimosas pouring in? Yeah, Since okay, everybody walking in. We got Honestly, how you feeling? 
Oh, yeah, because you know, mm, I thought y'all was from the No, I thought you was like a fight. When you told him, my man, I'll take your man from you, I just had to pass out. Oh, my God. Well, speaking of people's mans and stuff. Yeah, people's mans. Hey, sweetie. So, you know, you no, caught no. that part when he was saying something about your friend or you was messing with my oh, man. Oh, yeah, he tried to throw you under the bus. No, at that time, I got kicked out of the section. I do remember I got kicked out of the section. I kicked out of the section and then had to pay for the section. How you do that? Where they do that at? Look. Why are you trying to worry about what my friendship with Tetley or what that is based off of? Because clearly me and Tetley already had that conversation one-on-one. -on -one. We don't even have that type of relationship, so I don't know where he would have got that um, information from. So. I'm trying to figure out who told him. Jet. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jet, look. Wait. Jet, don't talk. Here we go. Here we go again. What did he say to you when he sat down beside you? This is what I was trying to hear. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we just talking about the diss track. Yeah. There is a diss track, but who was it about? He said it wasn't. He said it, was just, it was just for like. For a joke. Yeah, for play. Oh, okay. You have all of this uh, animosity with me and Ted before what? We he said that. He said, yeah, he said he that y'all always us. call, uh, y'all always be talking about labels. And what we do? A label boy, basically. I said, y'all ain't never said it. We never said it. Well, I didn't like Frank was when you went real low and talked about his grandma. Yeah, oh my god, uh, I forgot you even said that. You I said you gonna slap his point, though, grandma. You you gonna spit on me though. Don't say you gonna spit on me. That's a threat that you can't take back. So, slapping your dead ass grandma was gonna be the threat that I couldn't take back. So, what you were gonna do next? Okay, go get, go with everybody. Um, fix us. Then I go. It's a little snap. Go wake everybody up. Yeah, I feel like that's a little. I'm so happy. Let's go to your course. Yeah, let's go to your. I'm trying to work on my me being fat. I'm so fat. I can't eat pork, but I don't eat it anyway. I ain't gonna speak because of you. You ain't gonna speak because of me. I ain't gonna speak because of y'all. You ain't gonna speak because of me. You been up. No, you ain't been up. I came here like three times trying to see. I I'm like, you picked the door. Oh, night. really? Yes. I'm like, I, you I ain't up. I'm up. You I'm, up. Up. I'm a morning person. Okay, you up. We got most of the downstairs. Katie done cook some little snacks. Y'all ain't gonna sleep because of us. Y'all ain't gonna sleep because of us. Get up. Get on up. First of all, you're not gonna get me in a twin, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> So what happened last night? Why'd you leave so early? You just dipped. I know. I, 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 I really thought she was playing. I, I think he was really leaving. But then, really? I was like, where's Kiki? You really left. I know, I have to go. Why? What happened? So, you guys know, I found out I was in the wrong section, but the section was small. Oh, so, so you somebody behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I'm like, oh, okay, I got room to sit, you know, plus my heels were falling down, so I'm like, let me lace them up. From there, I end up um, going to the restroom to go fix my makeup. I don't know if you, I'm pretty sure y'all didn't notice because y'all was, you know, on the hookah and everything. But I went to the restroom and it was so many people like, oh, you back there with them punks and, oh, like, yeah, no cap, like, why are I bring the oh, here? God. It was like the tray just in my ear and I was just like, um, yeah, it's my brother's birthday. We're having a good time. <laughs> I wanted to sit closer to you guys because now those same men who were talking to me and looking down upon us was like, so looking like you over there. And then so um, Robert Ray um, was already out the door and I was like, well, bitch, I don't got nowhere to sit. We have to realize that Crew Lounge is a heteronormative club. Being in a straight set, me, myself, my first, initiative is to be passing. It was to the moment where, yes, I still felt passing, but if they took one more glare, it could have been a moment where now my safety would have been on the line. Not theirs, but mine. So yeah, that was just a little too much for me. So that's the real reason why I had to leave. But, but Kiki, I, I do want to say that like, I feel like we want to connect with you and Robert more. I feel like you and Robert have your own little thing. And I feel like we're, we're kind of disconnected with you guys. You really feel like that? I, I do, I do feel like that. You know, and I, how can I say this? Um, being around you guys as a unit has been a little bit different to me. I guess because of the scene that I'm connected to, you know, with Ballroom. And I think I've probably been a little bit babied. So for example, last night, I'm expecting y'all to instantly get up and be like, oh, this woman gotta have a seat. But I have to really have this mindset of like, sometimes it's not gonna be like that. People like Blondie and Robert Ray naturally do have that instinct of like, 
and everyone does but they naturally happen like boom okay the little girl the woman needs to be helped out and also too i parked like a block away and i'm like we was wondering like where you was at because like she left before us why she not here yet right yeah. because i was trying to find parking and i didn't even realize that the crew had a valet and i did come home like literally for the pack up and leave y'all should get kiki says she doesn't feel like we treat her like you know the woman of the group which i mean probably i can kind of understand but then again i I don't know, I just know like how I am with women, period. But for her to say it, it kind of like made me think like, damn, I didn't give up and give, give you a seat or whatever, but it wasn't like, we just didn't think of you as a woman because we love you as a woman, Kiki. So I just apologized and made sure that I won't ever do it again because when a woman comes in, you're supposed to give a woman her seat. I, I apologize if, if if I came across that way, like we should, like you're, you're a woman, you, we should. Yeah, and I love women, so I'm, I'm more than likely like, okay, you can have my seat, because I can stand yeah. up. Yeah. I think I need to be a little bit more vocal, but screaming over, y'all. We just can't be a little loud. Really too often. Yeah, because we can't be loud. Well, but today, I, I want us to all have fun and enjoy each other's company. Yeah, so that's what, what we got in store. Um, um, brunch at brunch. one. Yeah, we have to get ready for brunch. I know, I'm going to be the last one getting ready, too. Okay. And we make sure that the woman is taken care of. Right, we're going to make sure. In the group, so Thank we you. So before we get to drama, I'm really, I'm really the person who will be like, Oh, let her sit down. Move her. Get out the way. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's normally me. So I apologize. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let me go paint my face. Okay. And be ready for this I'm lovely not event. Go shower, cause you know it's about that time. Yeah. Like, I've a few years. Here. I know you look like you missed so it here. <laughs> Why'd you go to Atlanta? Uh, get a man. A man, they went, Dallas went hiring? Well, I couldn't get it on Jack. After hearing what I heard about Taylor and George, I have to pull George to the side because I need the real tea on what happened between them. <laughs> it just seems like this just, tea just fell in my lap. I wasn't even looking for this at this time. I wasn't not. I'm so surprised to see you today. Or this weekend. I didn't know you was coming. Listen, I didn't know I was coming. No, I didn't know I was oh, coming. Oh, you didn't know you was coming. But I wasn't for sure if I was coming or not. Well, when you came, it seemed like everybody was happy to see you. You talked, you spoke to everybody. I but spoke I, to the room. I, I No, you spoke to individually everybody <laughs> but there was one person i felt like you didn't speak to ted lee and they gagged me honestly because i met you guys together mm -hmm. and i thought y'all was like the best of friends like well no oh i'm sorry you thought we were the best of friends <laughs> my best friend circle is very small the last time taylor and i saw each other we did not have a great ending so oh. for me it's protecting energy. I know a lot of times when I'm in shit, it really don't really shows what all happened because I'm just one of those people. If you do something to me and I'm done with it and you, I don't want to really rehash it. I don't miss the friendship. I'm at peace, y'all. I'm tired of hearing all these lies and stand up on the phone two or three o'clock in the morning and hear him talk and cry and it's everybody else fault why he and what he in. Mm -mm. Goodbye. I just felt like he was saying that, that he basically Stop talking to you. He stopped talking to us. So it was a group of us. He left the group. Oh, so he was. And so uh, none of us know. Well, none of us know what was the reason of leaving the group. None of us know that. Now, you know how you smoke hookah and it kind of just evaporates. Uh, That's how I was. I'm too old to be kissing anybody ass to see uh -huh. what the problem is, especially when we're all grown ass men. Uh -huh. I mean, all grown. Whatever it was that tip the scale between George and Ted Lee. I just think the scale is tipped and George is no longer <laughs> interested in a relationship. By the way, the conversation goes, he said he's just, you know, moving on and bitch, good, good luck. I'm just gonna let it be. You know, they don't like each other. Let's keep it that way. So I that's just that, that I, I hate that for y'all. I don't. Life experience is about learning and developing. And a part of that is life. People are gonna come and people are gonna go. You know, when you show loyalty to somebody and you're there for them, especially in their most vulnerable stages of life, and so you consider yourself as like a respectful person to them, right? Loyal, respectful, and all that to them. And then out of the blue air or the night air, you get told that you are you don't have loyalty, you don't know what friendship is, you have a new group of friends every other week oh, and all goodness. that shit. I'm like... Where the fuck was all that when I was on the phone with you at 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning? That? I'm good on that. Oh, my God. So, how is uh, living in Atlanta? Love, fucking loving it. Now, do I miss Dallas? Hands down. I miss everything about it. The they people, the culture, the places. Like a host state. 
a city, whole state? Whole city. They the people go. Uh, you called me. On, you told me to try the holistic route. You you said you couldn't find him on Jack, so I guess she was looking. That for was a joke, child. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody has at one point been on Jack. It's yeah, no, oh, it's I not a, so sure. it's not a, oh my god moment for me. I was on Jack, but I got off because all everybody want to do on there is hook up. Yeah. And have sex. So are you gonna settle it. down? You know, so I'm dating someone. Oh. Now in Atlanta, unexpectedly, it just happened. Uh -huh. uh, and it's the ride has been good so far. So are you going to brunch with us? Absolutely. Yes. Don't say not, bitch. I'm not into it with you. Okay. So um, we're doing brunch. Um, you know the address. Oh, Dior's calling. What are you calling for? But yeah, I just wanted to come out here and have a conversation. Yes. Do you have the address for the brunch spot? I know you fucking lying. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. Where, where are you? On the toilet. Uh, uh bye. <laughs> I'm gonna give him an address, but yes, I want okay. you to stay and have a good time. Oh, thank and you. And see us and like enjoy the company. The group is different, but it, I think it's better. I think it's very much better. Uh, Y'all can't do nothing. Come <laughs> My, I need a Goodbye. Goodbye. Harry. Yeah. Uh, Coming up on Chasing Down. My energy just kind of shifts a little bit, no lie. Because I'm. I'm more so hurt about everything because it's like I thought me and him actually had a genuine connection. Okay. You can tell me to come out without okay. threatening me. Oh, oh, he he did threaten me. You I always try to do that. Oh, oh, Sit your ass down. It's so nasty. People want to be so nasty. nasty. You said what? With all that energy talking about some, everybody trying to be nasty when you the only one over here looking nasty. This Juneteenth weekend, Dallas, Texas is just where you gotta be. If I want it, I can pay ya. I got a house in the hills. I'm a star, gotta lay ya. Hey guys, it's JC Jones, and guess what? I'm bringing my LA vibe all the way down to Dallas, Texas, for what I call Freaknik 23, the ultimate and exclusive mansion pool party. And yes, it is at an amazing mansion that is on eight acres of land in Dallas, Texas. Now check this out, we got some amazing and sexy hosts like Brandy Glaze, Kevin, Kyle, and Giovanni V from Hot House Season 2. Dallas, it's your boy Brandy Glaze. Boy JC is throwing a huge party Juneteenth at a huge mansion and a huge pool, man. So I want to see you in that bikini. I want to see you in that thong. I want to see you in that Speedo. Get your freak on. No, 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 no. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kevin Kyle. Can't wait to see y'all in Dallas, Texas on Juneteenth weekend for Freak Mint 23. Discounted early bird tickets are on sale right now. So get them while they last. You only got until May 18th. Then the price goes up. You can visit www.houseofjonesco.com slash JJP. Get your tickets. Yeah, it was right. I was, I was doing the pop here, right? Yeah, let's try to behave today. Let's try to behave today. I wanna take you to Rio. Vamos a probar un trio. Tú y tu mejor amiga. No quiero nada de lío. So today we pulling up to Poor Behavior. I've never been here before. I love brunch food. Everybody knows I love me a good mimosa and some pancakes and some bacon. So I'm excited to come in here and eat and have a peaceful brunch and have a good time with the people and catch up. Oh my okay. God, you guys. Y'all look so cute. Thank, Thank you. you. Everybody you. looks really Everybody nice today. Good. It was a given for me anyway. So. After last night, I think we need a reset. Please. Well, I think we ended last night Please. Yeah. Thank you. on a good, good note. My car didn't end good last night, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did have an extra $40. Yeah. So let's talk what? about that. Yeah, you left. Why? I was going to ask you, why you and Robert leave so quickly? So, Robert left because, well, he kind of helped me out, too, because I parked, like, a, a block away. Mm -hmm. And so um, I knew for a fact that there would be nobody else who walked into my car. Mm -hmm. And the men were on my body, and I had to hear up and go. But I was telling Jen and um, Dior that when I went to the restroom, I don't know if it was just us being us or probably the commotion that happened because y'all turned up very yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. 
the straights were very like white versus black super makes it like oh what the fuck they got going on right. they asked they was like you back there with them punks what and so that's when i came back and i was like can y'all let me get through hey can i sit down can i sit down mm -hmm. nobody was getting up i was at the moment when robert ray looked like he was ready to go yeah. I was like, well, let me just go and hang out here. Mm -hmm. um, because normally, I'm just, I was telling you on Jeff, I'm used to people just getting up. Be like, girl, let her have a seat. I let her have a seat. And that's not what I was experiencing yesterday. But, you know. I feel like when Kiki said that, in the heat of the moment, I was clearly in so many arguments. So I didn't even notice it at that time. But I've always, you know, been a gentleman to Kiki and always was respectful, you know, to her and making sure that her needs are always met amongst these group of guys or, you know, cisgender males. But Kiki also didn't ask as well. I definitely would have offered it to her just to get out of that mess anyway. Well, when you left, you missed an explosion. Okay, tell the team. So basically, well, Sean can tell her he's sitting right here. He was the main. Uh, um, the only thing I remember at the explosion was after me and Jet Jeff after. and um him after we had that conversation I thought we got to a middle ground and then so he had ended up slipping up saying that oh you know I'm already drunk and I was like Screw. but you said he wasn't drinking tonight here we go we back on stunt queen because you said you wasn't drinking tonight but now you said oh I'm already drunk so now you have us here at this section at this event that you, we didn't even know that was yours, by the way. And you want us to put in on a bottle for a section that we didn't even know that we was coming to that was yours. And then you're like, well, you know what? I don't have a problem with Jet Jeff. It's y'all too. Y'all doing, and I'm like, what? where are you getting this from? You always want to be a stunt queen. You always want to put on for a camera. And when I try and give you a genuine olive branch, you just break it like a switch. So guess what? I'm gonna have to switch your ass like a motherfucking blade. There's a lot going on once again. So let me just sit back and listen before I speak. I just wonder how I got dragged. Y'all think to get y'all Gucci from thrift? That's what I, well, which one, which thrift store so I can go give you some Gucci? Please let me know. Okay. I just wish she would have told us. Yeah, it was very right. random. Why? What was the vibe? Because but now, the because came, it was a surprise, obviously. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, he's like, okay, I want y'all to check out this restaurant, uh, this place. You know, I'm thinking about doing the same thing in mm -hmm. Dallas. I got y'all a section, but you know, you have to pay for the bottle. Right, boom. No, but no, he did. And I turned I, and told everybody because I said when I walked in, he said, "Hey, Dior, um, the the manager is not here. If the manager was here, it, this would have been free, but it's not free, so we have to pay for it tonight." So that's why I turned to everybody and said, "Y'all, it's not." I do remember. Yeah, and he pay. said that the bottle was one twenty five. The bottle was one hundred twenty five. He said, "No, he said like, he'll pay his half, and y'all just have to pay one twenty five. Oh yeah. uh, well, she so it was one of them. Three ninety. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And he was supposed to pay half, and we were supposed to pay fifty five. But he only paid a hundred. That makes sense if he still paid. So he paid the 125 and we paid his half. Got yeah, you. Yeah, got you. It's confusing to me because if you invite everyone to crew to fellowship and drink and have a great time and go half on a bottle with you, it will only make sense that you would drink and fellowship with us. Clearly, you just wanted to get us all together because you haven't done anything at all this season just so it can make you feel good or feel accomplished with your small, minute endeavors that you have, I guess, gave us. Because I don't know how quiet I'm going to be. What about your private? Because I already know. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. 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 Hey.
I was telling Kiki earlier, like, like I want you guys to be more involved with us. Oh. I feel like y'all are uh, separated from us. How about from last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all was doing too much. I just wasn't feeling it. The energy was out. If I would've known you was coming, I probably would've stayed a little longer. But yeah, <laughs> yeah the energy was out. Y'all was... I don't think the energy was off because I'm always coming into an uh, environment, you know, when open arms being an embrace us. But it, it, it went off because once again, it was off because once again, Dre, it was off once again, like I said, because Dre don't know how to handle himself. He don't know how to handle himself and address himself accordingly. And everybody know once a drink is in me, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do, whatever gonna get done. So it's safe to say that, even though there was main characters in the situation, everyone yeah. still played some type of role because we could have instantly tried to yeah. soothe the situation. You know, I wasn't even in it, but if I was, I would have been over there. Yeah. Everybody's broke, yeah. so I'm not yeah. here yeah. to officiate or say, oh, you calm down, you calm down. Y'all know how to act. And we you know do. That's uh, what I'm saying, we know. So I just feel like nobody had to babysit or calm down anything. There's been plenty of situations and plenty of places where all of us have acted a point and an ass. At that point, do you sit there, excuse me, sit there and just like watch it happen? Or do you I, I didn't, We all, I don't think we all watched it happen. I think we were all, it was between Sean and um, Dre. We, we didn't want them to fight because we know what they, Oh, was I talking? Were well, you listening? He stated a good statement. He said so that if something had went yeah. off, if which is true, okay, but I would, then okay. we would have had to end up fighting. It would have been us versus them. As I'm trying to have an adult conversation with Kiki about, you know, things within the group or the dynamic of the group, Robert interrupts me trying to, you know, talk and overpower me and say what he has to say. And it's very, like, annoying. It's like, because you think that you're masculine presenting, you have a right to just overpower or, you know, uh, be aggressive and bully someone who really doesn't have that energy. And it's kind of becoming repetitive. But you're absolutely right. I was saying, but what I was saying was that even if we were trying to break them up. Right, right. They were still gonna do what they was gonna do. Right. Us as friends, all we could do was say, "Hey, stop." Stop and chill and relax. And and I do want to just put this on the table. At the end of the day, Keyshawn, two degrees, nice ass, great job. I'm never gonna put that on the line for nothing. That's good. Too. Not for a franchise, not for a show, not for a person. I'm too old and I got so much to lose, and I don't work my ass off to get here. I'm never gonna put my hands on somebody in a public setting to play myself, whether I'm on the Henny, Casa, Clase Azul, or 1942. So let's get that real, let's get that real clear. I don't think Kiki understand the full dynamics of what's really transpiring and the underlying aggression and animosity towards one another within the group. I understand that Kiki wants to mediate, but you have to understand both parties and their full size in order to really try to reconciliate and mediate. And we're just not gonna get anywhere with this. I'm actually surprised to see you here, Lundy. Are I didn't you? think you were gonna come. Are you surprised? I am. Why are you surprised? They said that you weren't gonna come because you thought you were gonna be with a couple in the same room. Who is a couple? Who the couple? That's what I want to know. The, the talk that has been going on the whole time. But so you did say it. Oh, you, you, you did say it. Because we, because we talked about this. We did. Yeah, but we, what we, I, in, in the, the conversation continued after that about y'all being a couple. Out, who? Outside, outside of... Outside of me and him? Correct. So that has been the thing since I first... Since I first stepped on, that has been the thing that y'all... And it continued. So what I said was... What I said was, when I looked at the thing, it looked to me as if we was all gonna be in the same room. And I was just like, uh, that just solidified me saying that I didn't want to come even more. Okay, so what I'm hearing is like, okay, we talked about it and we told you what it was. And then you heard other people talking about it, so it took you back to thinking that it was something like that? Well, so the experience that I had at the shoot was, I felt like I was in the way. It's continuously being talked about 
that it's a secret or maybe y'all sneaking or maybe y'all did and then it stopped and y'all just became friends. Not for me. It has been, and no, he hasn't said anything me. to me about I it. Care less. But it has been a lot I'm of, saying, stand on a it. lot of that. But how many times do we have to say we're not talking for people no, to get no, that you, shit? No, yeah, I think that. Well, and, and, and Sean is still the thing. Yeah, well, Jack, Jack, this is the well, thing. Well, let me just say this. Jack, you said many times, him and I had something going on. After yeah. that, we, we did it. No, yeah, that's, that's why I didn't know. It ain't did it. Then I actually got offended because I'm like, dang, I thought, and Judge Jeff was cool. When I heard he brought it to the table and he said it, I completely did, did, didn't like it because I thought we was cool. Why, why was it so important to bring up the IPM you like years ago? So it, to bring it, that up again. It, you know? Exactly, and I did bring that up. And I even said, when I was talking about it, I said, I don't feel that that's relevant to bring up because that's <laughs> old. But before you told me your reasoning, in my head I said, well, it's either you upset that I'm talking to somebody else and not you, that you started a rumor that's not true, so I said, I wanted to so I, it. wait a minute, I said, so is it he want me or is it he actually think that me and him is talking? And that's how I feel and I'm not going to back down from that. Oh, please, like for Londi to think that I'm upset because he's talking to Tenley and I mean, like, that was, like I said, that was five years ago, baby. I'm good, you know, you can help Tenley get through his divorce, but I'm good over here. You can keep that over there. I'm definitely not upset. So where do we go from here is the question. Cause, so how do we move forward? Cause I'm keep, I'm tired of going around the ring around the rose with this. Cause clearly we're not gonna get to no consensus in this group on what we're gonna do. Yeah, I know I'm the outcast. So, but it sounds like, like you know, I was just here on accident this weekend. Like, what's the big deal if if it was in any situation? If it was right, what business is it exactly? And like, why is it such a a thing? That because thing. like. From well, what see, I'm hearing, it's like, y'all been talking about this situation. Nobody. It was between me and Dior. It, I I've already explained this. I already said everybody said. Because of the fake, fancy ass shit that's been going on. So like, there's been outside yeah, conversation. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Did you not hear what it is? And so now it's just a thing. That's yes. what they just said. I, I, everybody is having conversations, though. So let's keep it real. Everybody is having conversations. Everybody is having conversations. Yeah. I'm faking a bitch no, because this the is fake. No, you're the fakest one, sweetie. You're the, you're the fake. You just tried to have an right. uh, argument with woman. me and Telly this morning. You've been trying to be here calm and cool and collecting, sweetie. Who? You are the biggest snake here. Who? You. Who? No, I'm fucking it like because I don't want to. Sweetie, sweetie. no, you have been intermingling in everybody's no, business. No, I'm just You've been calling just, out the fake no, shit that you're doing. No, calling out the shit that you do and the shit that you say and the shit that you have covered and the snakes you don't want out and the skeletons you don't want out of the closet. You talk about that. And then maybe somebody will release what they want to say is truth. Your truth is not everybody's truth, sweetie. So either you sit here and let everybody say what they got to say. You say, baby, this is your shit. Just sit down. You're not ready for the truth. I'm ready for whatever. You're not. Because I'm not going to stop. Oh, no. Let's stop, y'all. You always trying to correct me. You always trying to correct me and trying to play that card with me. Here you go. Okay. That's fine, but you can tell me. You can tell me to calm down. Okay. You can tell me to come out without threatening me. You have to threaten me. You don't have to threaten me. He did threaten me. You always try to do that, Kiki. You said I want to have that's it. You tried to threaten. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to pay every fucking. You tried to threaten me, saying you don't want to. No, this is what you do. Let's let's go. But I don't think leaving is the What they do? They want this all the time. They want this vibe. I was sitting there quiet. I'm no, I know I ain't here. Go. Look. No, you're not. Don't be y'all. Y'all ain't trying to threaten some fucking body. Just because I'm just a, a what? I'm, I'm feminine person. You think you can threaten me? No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Don't be 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 I'm under the rug or slick or you said some type of shade or you discussed something within the group that everybody wasn't privy to. Half the battle is your ass having a problem in the first place. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Somebody take the fuck off. Y'all have a good one? Are you looking in the mirror, my nigga? You been doing all this snake ass shit, nigga. I don't give a fuck about this and you keep playing it on me. Do I wanna break? This little nigga, no, I don't, fam. So I'ma let Trey make make it, fam. I'ma let this nigga make it. But hey, what's done in the dark will come to the light, you snake. 
I'm going to sit my ass right here. And if they want to go out in the parking lot and argue and fuss and fight, go ahead and do it. Hey guys, it's me, Bobby Bankrose, and I would like for you to get my new single, Baddies, available on all streaming music platforms. Baddie. Available now. They didn't have to do none of this shit for me. They didn't have to do this. But Why you didn't have the energy in Mexico? Because I'm gonna fake ass bitch. I'm gonna say to him, I'm gonna face now. Why is the insurance car calling to me? Fucking call to them to where the fuck you at. How would you describe the communication that you and Oliver had? I'm going to this country for the first time to reconnect with little Eddie. This trip to Cancun is very, very important to me. Bro, whatever happens, I just hope that I'm able to keep my eyes open long enough to see it because shit's about to hit the fan and immediately. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Tommy. Thank you. Let me tell you something. Trey and Robert got into it. It got heated as hell. They all jumped up from the table. I jumped up like I know what's going on, baby. I was so embarrassed. I don't know if I jumped up to separation. <laughs> Uh, shit, or did I jump up because I was embarrassed or was I just joining the masses? I don't even know what's going on, but it was shocking that they were that into it because Trey is Dior's kid and Dior is Robert's friend. Ain't no way you gonna let your uh, child talk to your to his uncle like it was I'm just confused. I don't know what's going on, but at this point I'm embarrassed. I'm trying to save face trying to get the hell out of there and then I'm also trying to make sure they don't tap the folks establishment okay listen we have no time to waste time and that's exactly what they were doing from being on the outside in it looked like the whole time when you guys were having a conversation Robert Ray just wanted you to understand that it wasn't coming from him right none of that stuff would have came out if it wasn't because you all had to be the brain oh, okay that's it. okay and here is Kiki a man Sit your ass down. We are tired of you amen, clapping, singing every time Robert has an issue trying to make a pass for him. He is in this attitude and he wants to be Oscar the Grouch and he wants to be Big Bad Hank. Like, let him do him and let him be acknowledged and accountable for his actions. Well, let me go talk to Robert and Lundy. Let me see how they feel. Honestly, I don't know why everybody is inserting themselves in everybody's drama. I understand everyone has an opinion. But sometimes an opinion is not, you know, granted or warranted, especially in this situation right here that is going on, which it only took two to tango with. Whatever the relationship is, I really don't care. I love Kisi. I love Dior. Whatever they do on their grown man business, it's totally up to them. Alright, so I get up because see, like I told y'all, I'm trying to change and shit. I'm, I'm really, truly, truly trying to change because I know what I give and what I what what I'm wanna be now. So I know this nigga being fake. I know this nigga can't fight. So do you wanna whoop this nigga or do you wanna leave? Let me be grown. Let me be the mature one since I am the oldest within this crew here or you know, other than my big bro Dior. Let me be the mature one and have a conversation with them and try to clear this up you know because i'm tired of this y'all like to be honest i'm so tired of it i don't want to beef with these people like all this time i just been calling out the obvious like she said earlier we're all grown right and let's sit down wow. so we can get to a conclusion with this shit because i'm like really and let's just please me. like please let's not interrupt nobody i'm not gonna interrupt nobody Everybody get what they want to say out. So what you want to say, what you want to address with whoever's sitting at this table, let's listen to that person. Nobody interrupt that person. Let them get whatever they want to get out, and we move forward. I'll start. First off, Robert, I do apologize. I didn't mean to yell. That's not who I am right now, and I'm trying not to be in that space. I feel like when, when it comes to me and you directly, like no shade, I just feel like because of maybe something that you feel between Dior or whatever the situation is. And no, I just saying like in the past or something, that's what started our issue or me, you feeling like I was fake because I maybe miss, miss said something that I said in the story wise. But honestly, I have no problem 
with you. And I don't like it that maybe you use maybe my feminine energy to think that I won't step out and handle my business. But if you're ready to fight, I would just take this shit off and fight with you. I'm not that type of nigga for that. So I just want you to understand that don't sun me. And I will respect you to the fullest. He keep trying to paint this narrative that he's fam and I'm masculine. Yes, that's the obvious fam. But if I'm trying to paint this narrative, my nigga, like you open your mouth and you don't expect nobody to react. People react how they don't want to react. They don't react how you want them to react. So shut the fuck up and stop planting all these seeds if you don't want these trees to grow up on your motherfucking face, nigga. Like what the fuck, my nigga, you. I don't have a personal issue with you. I have an issue with the TV. Um, I'm with you, Clay. You got, like I told you before, I'm always proud of what you got going on. My issue with you has nothing to do with that shit with you. I was just telling you how I felt at that moment. I don't give a fuck about, like, you know, I would never, he can never make me feel some type of way about you just like he could never make me feel some type of way about him. My issue with you is because I feel like you put stuff out there and then you hide behind the production and the TV and the this and that, but I feel like you carry a lot of bonds and you are messy with this show. And I respect you as a person, but I don't respect the show you. So that's where our disconnect comes in. When you said to show me, what 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 oh, makes you feel? Finish? Oh, I thought you were doing my bad. So, um, I don't respect the show you. And when I say the show you, to answer your question, I mean the you that like at Astro Event. Oh. Just to give you an example. Trey, you know me personally. So why would you pull me out there and tell me a, a lie? I didn't pull you out you, there. Child, well, child, okay, even if you didn't pull me out there, why would you? You told me that I did. This, why would you say that? Because in my in, in my mind, when I hear something being dissed in the song, it's a diss song. You said no. I do my job, and my job was to have an opinion. I was placed here to have an opinion. I don't want to be just sitting down quiet. If I got something to say, I'm going to say it. I'll when individual. This show, Trey, you're going to look like Mrs. Fuck. You're going to look like. I think we all will because we all. No, I think I'm, we all will. Because everything that I have said about any one of y'all, I have said to y'all. Who have I said? Name. Can you just call? Can you just say it? If you want to talk about it, can you just say I'm, I'm saying, if you, if, what if I said to somebody that I haven't said it? You don't have the time, love, to sit here and talk about everything you have been in the season, right? But you were watching, and you just remember this at the reunion, remember this conversation. Okay. And from your uncle, from that, that part of me, come to me personally and say, okay. if you understood what I was talking about moving okay. forward. So moving forward, I don't have any issues with you, Trey. I just don't like that part of you, okay? That's, that's, that's it, that's all. I just want you to understand that there's a TV you, and there's a real you. Y'all do this shit for TV, fam. I do this shit in real life. Like, you gotta be one way with me. I don't know how to distinguish the two, fam. Like, that's what I'm working on. So I wanted him to understand that that's all I really feel is this, just to understand that I don't like the TV you. I fuck with the regular you, but I don't like the TV you. But I accept your apology, fam. Let's take this out, okay? Um, so that's us. Anybody here? Yeah, I'm just trying to I I I be both y'all together. Um, your Nikki C. Yes. Um, I don't. As y'all know, I could give two fucks if y'all are fucking talking together. Any of the above. My whole thing, like I keep saying, and I've been saying from the beginning, from the beginning, from the beginning, is if you're my big brother, just have enough of this respect for me not to talk to my best friend Steve. That's all I've ever said. I don't care about all of this. Stuff. When we talked and we had our conversation about it, I was done with it. I haven't talked to him about it. I haven't, even when, and I'm gonna insert you in with because this has not been said. Even when he told you what he said, I have not said anything up and so What did Kesey say? Just I had the conversation at, that night. Uh, I talked for verbatim, but it was, we gonna be together regardless of what anybody think or we gonna something to that sort. I told you that? Yes. Oh damn. Like I don't care about what everybody else talking about. We gonna be together because we gonna work together and it, it is what it is. Like if you don't like it, oh well. So when it's played back, gonna be cool don't regardless. look like I'm the fool or I'm the one that's We're gonna, gonna be cool okay. regardless. This is what I said. Like regardless of how anybody feel or if they feel we're talking, we're still gonna be cool. Like that's all I said. I didn't say nothing about us being together. Like that that never came out of my mouth. Lundy, 
I don't remember exactly what I said word for word, but if I did say that me and Dio would be together no matter what, it's manager and artist terms, not a relationship couple terms. So like, I don't like how that was spent to fit the narrative that y'all trying to have going on. I don't talk to you about it and be 100, because you know, I don't talk to you about them. But in this, within this group, it, is there who's talking about? A lot of people. Everybody. Who's everybody? And I, yeah. Everybody. Can you so I don't trade. So but but what am I speaking on now? On my end. So when That's we have conversations about if yeah. they are together yeah. or they're dating. I only had that That's one time. Things. And that was that one time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Y'all got been, what's going on for me. <laughs> I've been drinking. I only had that one time when I had that instance. And it was with when we was all together and we was at Astro's event. And I was asking Robert about it because I was blind to the situation and after that I haven't said anything else about it because after that so I could probably let me know. We have not had a table conversation about that. We no. have talked that so no one danced around. I said look that's not my business. Sure I'm not gonna get any. It? It, the, when we was at the winery? Hey, yes. Yeah I said it's not my business I'm gonna, not gonna get any because that's not my business. I think, that, I, I, no. I think that's exactly how that conversation went. It, out of my mouth and out of my lips, this is exactly what happened. About something else and somebody else and they too. So the relationship between me and Robert, I don't know where it lies because I think it's between him and Dior and the whole KC. You smiling like you know something. <laughs> what the was secret that? is that they're the man they, real they manager and colleague. Yes, that's what I was told at the shoot. Yeah, they they are. That's the secret. No, oh, that's the. That's, that's what we're supposed to Oh no, that's the secret. Look, he probably tried it, and they said that they were just. Like, oh, I mean, they probably just. I don't know anything. It probably either. was a thirty-day free trial. Wow. Put it back on the shelf. Oh. Who yeah. put what on the shelf? Okay, I just. I don't know. Everybody timeline is gonna be jacked up when everybody see this back. So have fun with that. What I'm saying is, I, I wasn't trying to call nobody out individually, but you're saying that but if you we gonna, don't But have, if we're going to say everybody, you're, you're let's be real on it. You don't have those conversations. Because I don't. So, again, we play who we're going to hold accountable and who we're not going to hold accountable. Robert's lap dog, 1D, is sitting right here, raising his voice, trying to have his big, grand moment, as if somebody cares and yell at me because I'm stating the facts. A conversation may have happened, but Sean didn't give an input on what the basis of this relationship is or where it stands. Okay, well, if, you, if, you're clear, if you're saying that you don't have conversations about outside conversations about, about no. I mean, I give y'all all time to. It don't pay my bills. Yes for me. I don't give a fuck. If I, if y'all gonna do it, stand on it. It's all I'm we, saying. Me, if y'all you know, not, we definitely we not. didn't, we didn't okay. solidify all anything, all but I, I we definitely had a conversation about it. That's all I'm saying. I feel like I'm saying the same thing. I'm not saying anything specific. Right, I did it. He was being messy. What I'm saying is we had a conversation about it outside of the time that he's talking about it. Ain't no fake in my blood. Period. But why we why we doing all that? We just said we're not doing this. I just said I'm not being fake. Why are we doing all that? What's the sideboard? I'm not no fake. I'm a real bitch. Because because y'all always saying being real. No, you didn't. Be, be fucking real. I said why is we yelling though? I'm not even yelling. I'm being. It's not being sorry. All I said is not being fake. This is my mouth. I'm gonna say what I want. Exactly. That's why we go where we go and we're done. And we can be done, bitch. You wanna call somebody a bitch? Bitch. You're the one that acting like one. Okay. That's too real. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. So no, no, no. Okay. So no, no, no. Man, we don't have to have a problem, but you can't. But you can't. Like I said, ain't no fake in my blood. No, ain't no fake in my blood. And I'm going to do what I want to do. No, and no, at no, the end of the day, no, still, no, still no, and it's still what it is. And it is what it is. And I ain't no bitch either. So what's up? No. No. Let me tell you what we're, we're not, not going to do is that. Yeah, no physical. Excuse me. Well, then don't, don't do all that side I shit. I know. Because don't do all that side shit. If I just said we cool, then we're going to be cool. Okay, cool. We ain't going to have a problem. Don't do all that. And here we go. They want to wake up the beast for part two. Man. Hey. Hey. Y'all, yeah, um, yeah, no, calm down. Let's just wrap this, because I don't think we're going to get anything. Keyshawn was like, ain't no fake in my blood. I literally just like, it was like 0, 100. I mean, where I'm from, that's, you ready to fight. And if that's what we own, that's what we own. I don't get it why you acting like you weren't engaging in the conversation 
when we went and did the venue. Oh, I ain't talking about it. Oh, I don't say nothing about it. I don't do this, but you was definitely a part of that conversation. And Keyshawn, you jump up, like, with all that energy talking about some everybody trying to be nasty when you the only one over here looking nasty. Oh, no, I ain't gonna I'm even hearing the tapes. I'm just, and I did, and I did, because I was upset. And that's why I don't my name. Because it's so nasty. People want to be so nasty. You said what? You, that's what I'm saying. You no, 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 no. Then you talking too, so what the hell are you talking about? You talking too, and I'm gonna keep talking. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm not letting nobody pump me out. You, if you're going to bring me that same energy that you want to come to me with, I'm going to give it right back to you 10 times more. I'm not going to tolerate no disrespect from my elders, from my elites, from a child, from nobody. So when you come to me with disrespect, it's heavy on the disrespect back to you, sir. the season finale of Chasing Dallas. I'm having a damn side conversation. And you know I don't speak on nobody's business, especially about this. We, 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 we gonna recenter this back to why we came, and that was to celebrate Teddy's divorce. I'm so happy for him to, you know, embark upon this new journey. All right, you guys. This was a crazy-ass trip in my hometown. So, without further ado, I'm gonna show you all my promo video. Uh, do you got a boot? Cause I want you. Trying to be with Jets, gonna cross you. All alone in the dark, I'm lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three and four, who you would like to win? We are moving. James and I are moving out of Dallas. Could you believe it? I can truly say that God has seen the best in me. Even when I didn't see it in myself. We killing them from Dallas to Georgia. We eating them. Wow. One thing was forgotten. This bitch is a baddie. Got crush anything that I'm on. Wow. Bitch, a little baddie. 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 Bitch, a little baddie.